What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out Felseal, Arbiter's Mark, which is a kind of Final Fantasy Tactics type game. For those of you out there that firmly believe that Final Fantasy Tactics is one of the better games ever made, which I do believe that, the original Final Fantasy Tactics was like utterly life-changing when it first came out. But it kind of took people by surprise because they never played any. Like the only other games that were like it before that were like what? You had like Vandal Hearts. And like a few other turn-based, grid-based strategy games. Not There weren't really that many. And so anyways, let's check out the game. Let's see what it's got going on. Good work. You handled yourself well in there, Anodyne. Anodyne sounds like something that you put on a cut so that it doesn't get affected. Like, ah, I scraped my knee on that wood pile. Hand me the anodyne. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel like I actually did all that much, though. Things don't always end in a violent confrontation. Negotiations are also a part of an arbiter's tasks. Yes, Captain. Reiner sure is late. Well, you know him. He's probably... Did you hear that? I did. Help, please, anybody! It came from the alley ahead. Let's go. See, they ain't city folk. When you hear like a shing and then something from the alley, you do not go in that alley. That's a bad plan. Don't go in that alley. Something. I bet this entire game is going to be the consequence of going in this alley. It's going to be like Bran climbing the tower. Just what is going on here? You better have a good explanation for striking down an unarmed man. Oh, pesky witnesses. What a bother. You, hireling, dispatch the interlopers. Yo, that's a big hammer right there. Defeat Alphonse. Okay. So, we can decide which allies we want to join the battle. You can place characters in the glowing cyan tiles until the unit limit has been reached. Sometimes, specific characters will automatically join the battle and cannot be removed. Also, at the bottom right, you got a list of button and keys we can currently use. Okay. Sounds good. I mean, I've already got my person. Oh, I've got people? So we've got you, we've got, can we only have like, oh, we can have three out of three. So Lana is a, hold on. So I can have a mender. Hold on. So we got allies. So we got like Q and E. So we've got a wizard or we've got a mender. I feel like having a mender is a really good plan. Like that's what I feel like is working for us right now. Like I feel like that's a really good plan having a healer around just in case things get a little bit raw. Then we can press T to start the battle. All right, let's get, let's get into the fight. Let's get into the fray. Once more into the breach, my friends. By lawful decree of the Arbiters, I order you to put your weapons down and surrender. Now. An Arbiter? Ugh. It's getting even more bothersome. Hireling, take care of them. Yes, Lord Alphonse. As you wish, then. Anodyne, it looks like you're getting your first real battle. I'm ready, Captain. I'm sure you are, but why don't we go over the basics just to be safe? Yeah, I can move and act. Okay, move. Yeah, all right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I got the rough idea. I've played a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics. I feel like we're probably okay. Yeah, move to that flank right there. Move to that flank. So there we go. And now attack this fool. Get him. Bap on this dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 25 damage and 9 X. What? No JP? I didn't get no JPs though? Do I have any cool holy magic? I have panacea and I have heal. Hmm. You stay where you're at because you're a healer. And then we'll put other people into melee. Yeah, you swing up front. I don't know if we get bonuses for like being around the side of the enemy or anything like that, but eh. Do you have anything else you can do? Warcraft. A forceful strike. Deals 85 times damage, 0.85, and pushes the target back by one tile. Depending on terrain, this may have interesting results. I don't really want to push him right now. I kind of want to keep him, like, nice and squooshed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that 25 damage off right there. That's that good stuff. Probably going to get flanked. But, ooh, no, I've been struck. I've been hammered. Oh, at least he's fighting over there, so that's good. That still leaves me with a nice little flank. Move over to, like, how far away can you be to cast Holy Magic? So if I want you to heal. Oh, yeah, heal. There you go. That's the stuff. Let's get us all taken care of. I like the old school JRPG graphics too. It's making me happy right now. I'm getting I'm getting like a little bit nostalgic right now. You got Warcraft as well. 
Field Aid and Forceful Strike. Okay. You've also got Holy Magic. That's good to know. Maybe I should, like, pinch this guy and force him to turn around. I can't get to right there? Why? Is it because there's a dead guy right there? Why can't why can't I go to that spot? I wasn't thinking about being forcefully impeded by, by dead guys right now. That wasn't my goal. Yeah, you face that way. Enough. I yield. A wise choice if a bit late in the coming. Oh, I wanted to beat that guy up, though, too. What about my extra XPs? How am, I gonna get, how am I gonna get my new job classes if I don't get them XP's though? Because everybody knows Final Fantasy Tactics was all about farming. You would just leave one enemy left and you would heal him, and then everybody else would just beat on him for a while, as you just like chain healed him over and over and over again to keep leveling up for like hours at a time. So we got ability points right there for all troops 150, Vicarious Learning, Kyrie Never Falls. We also got two Snake Bite Oils right there, which is pretty sweet. And we got 1400 GP. Sweet. Ah, ladies, there you are. Oh, I see you've been busy. Reiner, weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? Your help would have been welcome with this lot. It's no matter, though. This gentleman kept his company, and now it's time to show our gratitude with a nice and comfy cell. This is outrageous. I'm Lord Alphonse. I'm a noble. Release me at once. Killing an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate witnesses, and resisting lawful arrest... I doubt that your noble status is going to get you out of this one. Kyrie, honestly, she must not understand how capitalism works. Like, if this guy's nobility, if this guy's like one of the oligarchs, he ain't never going to see the inside of a cell. Won't happen. Mm, you simplistic girl. Let's get this farce over with then. Bring me henceforth to the Arbiter's Chapter House for my trial. He's going to walk, I'm telling you. Are you suddenly dumb, wench? I mislike the night's chill. Hurry and escort me to the Arbiter's Chapter House. Reiner, change of plans. We're heading to the Luster to personally deliver our VIP to the main chapter house. Clever. I doubt the Lordling has enough pull over there to get out of this one. Go. Get everybody ready. I want us on the move at first light. On it. Now, let's get you more comfortable for the trip, then. This is outrageous! Keep at it, and I'll pull out a gag next. No one bothers to wash the gags in between prisoners, mind you. Ew. Gross! It's gonna have prisoner boogies all over it. Very well, wench. What about this one, Captain? I doubt our noble friend here would expend any political capital to assist a mere underling, so we'll drop him off at the local chapter house. No reason to cart both of them all the way to a luster. I bet that guy ends up becoming the ultimate bad guy, and we let him go right here at the beginning of the game. That's the plot twist I would use if I was M. Night Shyamalumalani. Dum 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 da 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 dum. Let's head for a Lester and get our eminent guest ready for his trial. Okay, let's go to a Lester. The roads can be treacherous. We should go to the local guild here in Gellig and gather some extra hands. An added recruit would go a long way. Okay. Well, let's go to the guild then and let's get ourselves a new recruit. Yeah, let's grab somebody. You can change the visual appearance of units in the selection. Just use the left right to change its value or the. Okay, that's cool. So we've got a mercenary class. We can have a scoundrel. What's the difference? We got a mender, a scoundrel, a mercenary, and a wizard. So obviously this is the rogue class. Do we have a rogue already or do I need more rogues? I don't know. I honestly have no clue. We already have multiple mercenaries. So it seems likely to me that we probably need like an extra caster or an extra rogue. I don't know, get another wizard. I like wizards. What? That dude has a wolf head? Hold up. Hold up. So is that like his hat right there? Oh, absolutely use the class hat. I'm not about... Like, the wolf head is cool and everything, but like... I, there's other headwear? What kind of headwears are there? Oh man, there's all kinds of customization. Yo, we can give him a kitty hat? Never mind, we go with the kitty hat. We go in with the kitty hat. I need this dude to have a different portrait. What? I need a portrait that has like a beard on it. Like I just needed them to match up for a second. That's all that I need. Those are some pretty sweet portraits, man. Whoever made these portraits went like in on them. Yo, can I have a Plague Doctor hat? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta find if there's a Plague Doctor hat. Oh my god, there is. 
Well, we about to have a plague doctor. And he has to he has to match. He's got to match his portrait. Otherwise, it bothers me. Like, I'm weirdly anal about that kind of stuff. He has to match the portrait. Otherwise, it's just I can't stand it. He's got accessories? Like, earrings? Like, what kind of accessories are we talking about here? We can also change his outfit. Does he have, like, any cooler robes? Yeah, give this dude some dope wizard. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And now we just got to get it to match up. Ooh, that looks about right. That looks a little... I mean, it matches the cape and everything. See, this is where I waste all my time right now. Ooh, he's looking so dope. Okay, this is our character right here. This is our dude. This is our dude. Name input. Uh, his name is Shun right now. I don't know how I feel about that. We're going to name this guy... I don't know. We'll name him Tolliver. There we go. That sounds like a good name for a plague doctor. Nice. Can I change the appearance of, like, all of my guys? Is that possible? It looks like I can. I can actually, like, go through and change what they all look like. Oh, nice, dude. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I like the fact that I can, like, customize. I mean, part of me wants them to look like whatever their job is. But, like, I get it. Maybe I can change their appearance whenever I want. Was there anything in the shop that I needed? Like, what kind of equipment stuff is going on? So we can buy. We've got a short sword. Can anybody use it? Or just mercenary? Oh, there's other stuff, too. So we have scoundrel right there. Flintlock pistols. We've got a wood staff. That's for wizards. All right, let's buy one of those, just in case. We might need it. All right, and so if I'm here... I can go to my troops menu. I bet the main characters have like dictated appearances. It's like being it's like being Ramza or like being Delita when you played Final Fantasy Tactics. Like some people have like a set appearance because they're iconic. But this guy need to get himself a rod real fast. Oh, he already has it. Never mind. Well, I just wasted a bunch of money then. All right, on the road again. Uh oh. We under attack right now. It's going to be just like Final Fantasy Tactics where you always get jumped on the road over and over and over again. Kyrie, Don't worry. I noticed. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anodyne. So you spotted us, huh? I guess you arbiters are as sharp as they say. But really, much friendlier than they say. Well met, friend. State your business with us and make it fast. We're on the clock. I'll make it quick for you. Hand over the noble you've got until and everybody can go their merry way, safe and sound. What a splendid idea. Quiet. Indeed, safe and sound is always better, I say. That being said, just what is it you want with the man anyways, friend? Funny you'd ask. From what I've been hearing lately about you Arbiters, I bet you wouldn't mind getting in on the action, huh? Alright, here's the deal. This rich tosser is going to pay us handsomely to buy back his freedom. You hand him over, we'll give you a fair 20% to split amongst yourselves, and no one ever needs to know an Arbiter was involved in this little transaction. That way, you get paid and your reputation stays clean. Win-win. So what do you say? We got a deal? 20%? Captain? Enough. Reiner, stop toying with the scum. We already know what they're up to. And you, attempted bribery, intimidation, interference in official arbiter business. That's enough to warrant turning all of you into corpses. Get out of our way and I'll forget I ever saw your faces today. It's my final and most generous counteroffer. If you take it fast, well, you should take it fast before I change my mind. You crazy little... I can't believe we had to run into one clean arbiter in these parts. All right, boys, claim the prize. Nobody left standing. Those are some pretty beefy dogs right there. Those things are kind of buff. She looks like the kind of person that's going to shoot me with a pistol. I feel like she's going to shoot me with a pistol. Do you feel like she's going to shoot you with a pistol? All right. Let's get a wazard. I can have six people? Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Get my wazard right there. And then my mender right there. Oh, we good to go. Start this thing. Let's get up into the shit. It's time for us to fight. A meadow lion. Oh, never mind. That was his name. He's a Vangle. It's Vigo the Vangle. Alright, so, like, what do you have? Like, what do you do? You've got trickery, so you're a scoundrel. You've got a dirty hit. You've got steel GP. 
He's using a melee weapon. I'll move up to right there. And the turn facing. Anodyne, why don't I give you a quick refresher on items? I don't really care about that. I, I think I, I think I know how to use an item. I think I'm pretty solid on that one. Alright, so you take point, and then we'll end from right here. And that'll kind of give them a bit of an opportunity to move towards us. And we'll try to figure out how we want to deal with these guys. I'm assuming that my wizards are going to have some kind of nuke or something like that that's going to help swing things in our favor. Because the numbers are fairly even right now. And so we either got to win by focus fire or by trickery. Alright, you go to right there. We might be able to get something off right here. Elementalism. Yeah, cast a fire spell on him, yo. Oh, dude, you got to cast that from hella close. Good lord. What about water? Is that the same range? Ew. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to have to wait for this to sort itself out. We've kind of created a little California roadblock over here, and until we sort that out, it might become a problem. It'll be made even worse if the enemy decides to fill the holes, and I can't move my melee guys up. Kyrie, I have misgivings about this trap door. I think they might have reinforcements waiting. Good catch. If one of us stands on it, it'll prevent anybody from coming that way. We should hurry if we plan to block the reinforcements this way. I'd wager we don't have much time before they make their move. I'm not really trying to expose my ass to the enemy. But I am interested in, like, dealing damage early and killing somebody off as soon as possible. Ew, they've got a counter blow? Weak, dude. Is that, like, a class ability? Oh, super weak. I'm trying to make sure I don't have, like, attacks of opportunity, but, like, somebody got to stand on that. I'll have her go right there. Hell, if he stands on it, even... Uh-oh. They closed the gap, y'all. They closed the gap. I actually think we might lose this. I've got a sneaking suspicion right now that this is not going as well as I would like it to go. Tried to steal from me? What? A thief will be a thief, I guess. A thief will be a thief. Well, there's 29 more damage out. At least we're hurting something, so that's good. You've only got... Ew, you've only got that much health left, huh? Weak one. Alright, so can I cast a... I would like for you to be right there. Yeah, that'll work. Hit him with it. We gotta spread some damage around. If we don't start, like, actively dealing damage, we've got issues. So, like, do it. I don't know if he can move anywhere else. Where can you go? Like, right there. I don't want you to fill the gap, though. You're a mage. That's a bad plan. Like, something terrible is gonna happen if I do that. Yeah, cast a fire spell right there. I'm trying to keep some of this damage going out. And if we can AoE him, that would be even better. Like, any enemy I can hit, like, multiple, although we've set our... Oh! I think we're going to lose this fight. Like, because he's going to go down on the next turn. Somebody got to stand right here, and she's completely and totally out of the combat right now. Got Phoenix, 25 damage to a single target. Might as well. Yep. Throw a rock at him. It's better than doing nothing. A little callback to Final Fantasy Tactics. Throw stone over there. Uh, I need you to use a potion, like, right now. I wasn't planning on having you be the tank for this little adventure, but it may have to happen. Apparently, there's no attacks of opportunity, though, so I'm trying to get them to, like, clump up a little better. That's fine. Spread the damage around a bit. Ooh. You're too kind. Thank you for lining up in a way that I find to be satisfying to my mages. The only way this gets better is if somebody goes right there. Oh. Okay. Holy magic. Mending. Who's the most busted up? She's pretty beat up. 
let's keep putting a little bit of Healy Lovin' on her. I think that's going to be the main way we're going to pull through this. I may have to drop a potion on her. I really, really don't want to. But it may have to happen. Yikes. That's a lot of money we just lost. Alright, attack right there. I'll put two spells on these guys to try and knock them out. Ew, no! God, if I could just avoid taking damage for a second. Hey, we got one of them. Nice. So we got shellac powder. Alright, I don't know what a shellac powder is, but... Sounds cool to me. Move the mage up to there. There's no attacks of opportunity, so that should be a relatively safe, unrisky move. Yeah, finish that one off too. We really need to get the numerical advantage right now. That's the reason why they're able to stack so much damage on us. We got a snake bite oil. Sounds good. 29 XP for the kill. That ain't bad at all. I'll take it. Special events that happen during a battle will have an event icon displayed in the turn order list at the top. Oh, that's the reinforcements. Okay. Gotcha. Makes sense. Now we need to reinforce her about as fast as we possibly can because she's taking extra damage from being hit from behind. Yeah, keep fighting over there. I like the soundtrack, man. The music's really good, too. Like, surprisingly high-quality music. Like, it's just like a little indie title, so I'm really surprised to see how good, like, most of the production values are. I'm not, like, a massive fan of the in-game art style. I like the portraits and everything. But at the same time, like, everything else, that's just, like, a subjective opinion, you know what I mean? That's not really that important. She's at 20-something. All right, attack that guy right there. Yep, put a little bit of heat on him. I'll try to move the mages up here, and we'll start dropping some fire over there. Just to make this go a little better. Ugh. The focus fire is real right now. I don't know if she can heal from right there, but I'm going to try. She can. Goody. Just keep her up for one more turn. And you can just keep her around for like one more engagement. We'll be all right. Then I can reinforce him and finish this off. Yep. 35 right there. Sit that dude down. Oh, look. They go down on one knee when they're critically wounded. Nice. There we go. That's what I was trying to force. I was trying to force them to break off the pursuit of that person. Uh, mages, come back over here and teach these people why you don't rush mages, please. Thank you. Oh, 13 damage. That didn't do nearly what I expected it to do. Hmm. Feels bad, man. We'll try fire. There we go. Fire worked pretty good. Hopefully we don't have to, like, extended heal or anything like that after the battle. Hopefully everybody just be, like, right back up to max and we can get started again. Keep things moving. He's got 53 HP. Go with Trickery. Yeah, do a dirty hit. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Smoke Bomb! Dodge the counter. My boy on point right now. My dude is on point. Yo, stop stealing my money. wonder if I get it back when I kill him. You trying to run away right now after you just robbed me? Nah, we don't play that. Hey, we got a level up. Nice. I don't know what that entails for right now. But I assume that level ups are helpful. She got more HP because she had like 92 a second ago. Now she's got 105. So apparently it's like a linear increase or whatever. That's good. I wonder if we change classes later on. I bet we do. Dude, stop stealing my money. I'm not an especially rich man to begin with. Oh, you about to get it, doggy. You about to get it. 45 damage right there. How you feel. What you like. What you want. What you, what you want. Uh, yeah, maybe move over to here. Finish off Senor Doggo. Bye-bye, doggy. See you later. I'm trying to get that mage XP right now because you know mages are going to be OP. Mages are always OP in every strategy game ever. They're always, like, super beefy. You just got to get to the point where you have, like, time mages and stuff, and that's where it starts to get crazy because then you can just chain cast, double cast haste on everybody. Like, we don't play with calculators, though. Calculators are OP. Calculators and mimes break the game. We don't play with those. We leave those out. 
Yeah, just shiv that dude. I mean, honestly, if there's no attacks of opportunity, there's really nothing to, like, punish you circling around the enemy as much as you want and attacking him in the back. It looked like a pistol for a second when she shot me with, but then it wasn't. Can you get down there? Oh, somebody's got to stand on the door, though. Weak. Do I have any more rocks? I got no more rocks. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Let's go. I'm going to heal her right there. That looks good. Yeah. The color green. Heal me with the power of the color green. Everybody knows that green means healing. Definitely not gangrene or rot. I swear to God, you steal my money one more time and I'm going to kill you just like I was going to kill you before. So there's really no change in my MO. <laughs> So do I not get my money back when I kill people that stole from me? I don't like that. That upset. Maybe I get it back at the end of the battle. Maybe I get it back at the end. Bad day to... It's really bad day to be a bandito. It seems like too warm of a day to be wearing all these furs. I'll be honest with you. So we got a heavy crossbow, a shellac powder. We got vicarious learning. Nice. Didn't this used to be an inn? It burned down during a marauder attack last year. Guess no arbiters were around to prevent that, huh? If this is about what that scoundrel said about arbiters taking bribes, I think he was grasping at straws. Things aren't anywhere near as bad as that. And yet here we are lugging around that foppish noble because we're afraid the local chapter house is open to bribes. That's enough of a break. Let's get moving. I want us at a luster before nightfall. I'll make sure everybody's ready. Well, this is called Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. If you guys liked it, make sure you get it down below. You can buy it right now on Steam. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on by. Pretty sure this one's in early access, although I will annotate the description to let you know after the fact. Uh, I think this one's actively in development right now. And so anyways... If you're into Final Fantasy Tactics, might be worth checking out. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile of indie games to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. I'll see y'all later. How you do, everybody?